How are we doing, everybody? Hello. Welcome to another episode of Get Jiggly With It. Today is Board Game Saturday. I guess that's what we'll call it. Board Game Saturday, Tabletop Saturday. Fun with Audrey playing board games on a Saturday. That's all those titles. You guys vote below which one you guys like as the title best. <laughs> uh, but today is based on you guys' vote. So actually, it's kind of like uh, Audience Chooses Board Game Saturday Extravaganza Bonanza. I think that's too long for a title, but again, let us know down below. Uh, since you guys voted on Disney Villainous, we're going to go ahead and play some Disney Villainous on today's stream. Uh, if you're watching this as a follow-up, because of course we chop these up when they are on YouTube, uh, then uh, we will have the second or third gameplay, depending on how many you get through tonight, as separate videos, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. So, in the first game, we're going to play probably some of the, well, some of the easier and some of the more uh, advanced characters, just to kind of show you guys how the game goes. Uh, so we're going to play as Prince John and Jafar. So the way Disney Villains works is it is a card-based game. So of course you see I have a deck of cards, and then Audrey also has a deck of cards. And then on those cards, they're going to have different abilities or things. Uh, and if you saw my opening video, then of course uh, you saw these cards. But basically you'll have different things like a condition, you'll have... Um, effects that can be played. You can have, uh, that's another effect, another condition. Um, there are item cards. There are different types of cards that are going to do different things for your character. So each character is going to have an objective. So if we go here to the villain objectives here, we can see all of the objectives in the base game. Now we do have the three expansions. So if you guys want to see us play those, make sure you let us know and we can play those as well. But you have Captain Hook, so Captain Hook has to find Peter Pan uh, from his fate deck, unlock the hangman's tree, move Peter Pan to the Jolly Roger, and then defeat him. Uh, Jafar must unlock the Cave of Wonders, play the Magic Lamp, hypnotize Genie, and then move them both to Sultan's Palace. Uh, Maleficent must play curse cards, and then of course she can curse um, each location in her realm. Uh, Prince John needs to collect at least 20 power to win. The Queen of Hearts must play and convert cards into wickets. I move them as needed as she has at least one wicket in each location, then she can play the card Take the Shot. And then Ursula must play the Trident, the Crown, and move them as needed so that she has them in her lair, and then defeat or and or defeat King Triton. So however she does it. So a couple of the villains like Ursula, Prince John, Jafar, and Maleficent, your opponent gets one more shot at it. Uh, and then there are different abilities and actions that we can take during our turn, depending on the card spaces. Um, so if you look down here on Oddity's first space, she can take one power, she can discard a card, she can perform a fate, and she can play a card. And you can see each spot has different things that you can do as you move up and down the board. Now the fate cards are these cards here. So we both have a fate deck. And in the Fate deck is where you're going to find your heroes, and there'll be items and effects for those heroes as well. Uh, basically, your opponent is trying to stop you by playing your heroes and your uh, counterpoints, uh, which are basically your fate. Are you going to succeed or not? Because remember, everything is determined by fate, I guess, right? Uh, so that's how that goes. Um, like I said, it's a very simple game. There's not much to it, but at the same time, it's a very complex game, right? You have to figure out maybe card combinations that allow you to do certain things. For example, Jafar has Iago. There's only one Iago, right? So there's only one Iago in my deck. And he has this thing that can allow him to pick items up and transport them where you want them to. Um, Prince John, for example, will have cards that'll allow him to place bounties on his realm, that way he can get extra power. Um, so knowing how to play those and where to play them takes a little bit of getting used to. So like, if you think, oh, I'm gonna play this character once and know how to play it, no, it takes a while. Like most deck games, it takes a while, right? So of course, we are going to decide who goes first. And the way we decide who goes first is how? Piedra, papel, a tijera. O tijera. So one, two, three, two. Ay. Adri always gets to choose who goes first. Do I go first or you go first? 
I go first. Why? Because then you start with a power at the beginning. Um, so I put the player guides here so that way you guys can see. We kind of know how they play. Uh, again, if you want to see how these what these player guides are, they just give you strategy. That is in our unboxing video, which we have from the channel, so you can, of course, watch that. Um, we did, of course, upgrade our tokens again. If you've watched that unboxing video, I talk about these. They're just little gem crystal things. Uh, we'll have links in the show notes uh, if you want to pick these up from Amazon. I think it was like eight bucks for this huge thing. And then, of course, we did upgrade our dice peace holding thing <laughs> whatever <laughs> our trays right because we're going to need those because we're going to be playing lots and lots of board games that you guys vote with that I, I i'm going to take my first turn so of course my cable wonders is locked right so i have to get a special card that allows me to unlock that uh we start the game with four cards three four uh, and of course like i said the back of these cards are really nice i like the back of these cards they're so cool to look at Abadies with Prince John. So they're, they're very different, but kind of the same, right? Um, so of course, we want to look at the cards that we have and determine what our moves are going to be based on these cards. So of course, I have no energy, so I can't do anything. So at the top here, you'll see this is the energy cost of what it costs to play these cards, right? And then down at the bottom, you have stamina. So for example, my palace guard has two, and then my sword that I can add to my palace guard gives him one more strength. So I have a total of three strength, and that's going to come in very important for being able to defeat the enemies. And we'll talk about that as we play. So since I have no energy, the best thing for me to do is get some energy. I don't think it matters what colors we have, so I'm just going to get three colors there. And then I can play two cards, and I can also perform an action that I don't have, or an activate, I don't have my ability yet, which would be my hypnotize. So, well, I guess I will pay one to get me a guard out. And I can play two cards. Yeah, I can play two cards. So I'll go ahead and then attach the sword to him while I'm at it. That gets him up to three. And then I'll draw to end my turn. How did he's turn? So, Abdi is going to jail. And her jail is actually kind of unique because normally when you have a hero, it's going to cover up these top abilities. The jail does not have that. So it's not going to cover up her abilities, but she only has three instead of the four. That puts her at four of her 20. But, so I always have to I always have to keep up with Adri's, um power and, and keep throwing out the characters because then they'll steal her power. Also have to make sure that she actually pays because, you know, Prince John is very greedy with his money and doesn't want to give his money away. So we got to make sure make sure that there's payment being made. I discard one card. And you discarded a card. Okay, because that was your the other action. Yeah. And then when you move, you can't stay on the same spot. So we all have to always have to move to a new spot. Um, Maleficent actually has a card that lets her stay on a spot. Um, really, we didn't figure out what really the strategy behind that was. Um, I guess when you, well, because you had a couple that if she landed on it, it would remove the curse. So maybe it's because you get all yeah. those out, so you kind of have to stay in the spot, because otherwise you're removing curses. So that would make sense. Um, and I think we'll play Maleficent next, so of course if you're watching this if it's already up on video, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe so you can watch the Maleficent video, which we will do after this game. Um, I don't know who I'm going to play next, usually I let chat decide who I play. Um, I can't go there because that's locked. I really need to find my card to... I'm going to need some energy. Do that, do one energy. Uh, and then I get to choose the top two of Abdi's fate deck. So here are her fate cards. So we have Lady Cluck. Lady Cluck cannot be played or moved to the jail. So it basically blocks her position. And then you have an effect which we cannot perform because we do not have any heroes. So this card is basically no good for me. So I get to play Lady Cluck and because I want to inhibit her energy, I'm going to put it on there. So because she can't move Lady Cluck to jail, She's going to have to knock it out if she wants to be able to collect 
power, we'll call it energy, trust me, about five more times, <laughs> uh, if she wants to collect her power from that square. That was this. I got my one energy. I can discard and play a card. Um, I don't have enough energy to do that. I don't want to use up my energy to do that. I'm going to go ahead and end my turn, switch your turn. Where are you going? Uh, no, you don't have people to be... Well, remember, he his their ability is they allow him to attack either position, but yeah, she's, but she's kind of... He's kind of a big girl. <laughs> She's got six stamina. Lady Club. The other thing of playing this is it makes us want to watch the movies. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, I haven't watched Robin Hood in so long. All right, so okay, one energy, so one and then energy. my fate. Here are the two fate cards. So, uh, the effect she's not going to be able to play, uh, which is Crushing Blow. So, she's going to have to do my... Um, Abu. And unfortunately, Abu is not good to get this early in the game because Abu, when you play him, you basically take the item and attach it to him. So you kind of want Abu to steal my items. So really, the only item you'd be able to steal would be my palace guards, which would make him weaker. But he's still strong enough to defeat Abu. Um, or you can cover up one hit. Well, you can't put him there. You can put him there, there, or there. Put him here, he steals my sword. But he doesn't stop me from getting energy. So, here. How about he is getting rid of the energia y fate? They say fate in Spanish. Destino? Destiny? Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they like to start. He's like, what do I play? Alright, so you're gonna do zero, so it's good. Just gain one power for each hero. So that's one thing with uh, Prince John. Prince John, because he wants power, it's actually, he's one of the few that you want to get the heroes in the realm because of that card there. I think he's got two or three of those. So if she had four heroes, as long as it wasn't Robin Hood, Robin Hood takes money, heals from the rich, and gives to the poor, then uh, she would get four energy only. Okay. Jacobo? Jacobo. Okay. So I'm going to go back here, get to my face and that yes. Three, three. I guess mine really works because gems, like down in the Cave of Wonders, so. had all the gems and stuff down there. Remember? Because he was told not to touch anything and then Abu grabs, steals something. All right. So with that, I'm going to then play my magic lamp for four. So I'm already. Kind of in the lead, not really, because that, of course, gets me my... Oh, no, 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 I can't do that because it's still locked. I can't play anything on that locked location. So let me take one energy back. I still got to find my other things. So I'm going to play Razul. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't play anything. I got to unlock that first. Wow, I thought I was in... I thought, I thought this was going to be a quick match because, like, I got the lamp so quick. Last time I played Jafar, we didn't... I didn't get the lamp till like, near the end, right? No, 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 I got it. When you played Jafar, you didn't get the lamp till the end. For me, I got the lamp like almost right after I unlocked it, but then it took me a while to get him down there. So, played one card. I don't want to play that. I don't want to play that. I don't have an activation. Um... Abu's play this solution when you choose an item or location attached to him. Jafar cannot use the item. No, I don't think I'm going to hypnotize Abu. Oh, I don't have another card to play. So that is the end of my turn. So King John can actually win pretty quickly, too, because all he really needs to do is just keep bouncing. Well, I covered that one up, but bouncing back and forth between spots, because every time he goes there, he gets three, three power. Her and I get to 
Uh, gain two power each. No, that's no, each time it's, in it's played. This location. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your bounty. So those are the bounties I was talking about, where you just put it on a location, which prevents doesn't prevent me from putting a hero. But if I put a hero there, then you get energy. So you do want to put those out as soon as you can. Not in this location. So. You can put it in the location. You have to pay the energy. So pay one energy. You don't want to put it there because I can't put another hero there. There you go. Oh, energy, no, and then a discard if you want to discard. No discard. Okay. So I am going to go... Let me block that one from... Yeah, I can knock Abu out. So the only thing with the uh, knocking him out, so of course, Razul has three, Abu has two, which means I could knock him out, but it, it still knocks you out, even if you have way more strength than the person you're attacking so it's kind of kind of play a little strategy on that as well we're going to go back over here so two from adri's fake deck i have toby oops, toby and alan adale so toby when defeated shuffle him back into the deck so it puts him back in there alan adale all other heroes in prince john's realm get plus one strength i like that better so i do not want you to get extra power I'm going to put that one there. And then I don't have a reason to beat up on Abu right now. I mean, he's blocking one energy, but not that big of a deal. Um, so I'm going to attach my sword, my scimitar. I don't know how to say scimitar. Scimitar? Is the C silent? It's scimitar? I don't know. No. You're the language expert. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. I can't activate, played my card, did that. That is the end of my turn. All right. Yes, oh you have God. to move. Power. So when bow and arrow is played, attach it to an eye that Ali gets one. See, oh. is... and so when Ali and that Ali would be discarded, discard, discard this item card instead, and uh, fate. I figure why I just realized like the music was playing earlier. Is the mu did the music stop? No, you have music. No, oh, it's another commercial. And which which app are you on? What? Oh, it's the this live is... the live streams being weird. You know when it when you stop watching live stream, it stops having you in the live stream. Oh, I wonder, I wonder how long that'll go. See, that's that's the problem with us doing this. We apologize, guys. You guys didn't have any music playing. Um, I did not realize that it had stopped. Avdi is doing a fate card. What's the fate card? I cannot play this no hero in your... Okay. Well, I do have a hero. I have a boo. No, oh, in your discard. Oh, in my discard pile. Okay, that's the one that brings him back. Just card is the Huh? Oh, one less card? Yeah, so, so no I, only, card. I can only have three. three instead of three. And Jafar draws cards at the end of the turn, he draws one less card. Yeah, so I can only have three cards. Yeah, because you just draw your Correct. So I can I draw one less, which means basically I stay at you are the same. three. I do
There, where's your foot? All right, so you're gonna put it here? Okay. Got a handful of effects. Did that, you play, what did you play? Oh, the bow and arrows, okay. Yeah, 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 that's, that's the one that discards the bow instead of the people's. And it gives me one. And it gives you one. <laughs> He's happy. All right, so you're at six, all right. Um, I guess I'm going back here. And I need to get through my hand, but at the same time I need to, like, Get rid of cards, and I have nothing I can get rid of. Move a hero to any unlocked location with an ally to unlock it. I play. I can play this one. Uh, agree during if another player has six or more power. Yeah, so you get three more power. Hey, the item or ally revealed from the top of your deck. Oh, I forgot about this scrying. I could have played this two or three turns ago. I thought that was the move. All right, so I need an item because I need to unlock this. Alright, so there we go. There is an item. It is not the item I want. Snake staff, pay one power, and I can hypnotize somebody. Not what I want. Um play two cards, so I'm gonna play another two. I'm going to sorcerer's power, I can move a hero to an unlocked location or move an ally to an unlocked location. So I'm going to move. Jasmine here. Yeah, I already played my two cards. Yeah, Jasmine. And that's the end of my turn. Jasmine's out, so I cannot draw a card. I have to get rid of Jasmine. <laughs> if I don't get rid of Jasmine, I'm, I'm in trouble. Vanquish. Uh, yes. Because she has Vanquish. this, I know. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so, so you have three, um, so you just lose your bow and arrow. You vanquished Alan I know, you would think, but you don't. <laughs> what are you at? You're already at nine, you're at okay. ten, you're already halfway there. And yes. now I can... Yeah, now you get one because you unlocked that. And then the fate, because you did fate. my fate. A wish and wish, so I guess you're going to choose wish. Wish, yeah. Uh, when Wish is played, attach it to Hero, that hero gets plus two strength. So I would imagine you want to probably attach that to Jeff. Because I'm trying to, to, I'm trying to beat her up. Hit that. Put a monkey wrench, not to speak of a boo in bad terms, but that, that threw a monkey into my wrench. <laughs> that threw a monkey into my plan. <laughs> it probably hadn't been picking me up the whole time. I have, I have, it picks me up no problem, but yeah, it, it has a heart. The only way I found to make it pick it up is I have to turn off the noise filter. So I um I will play that again. You gonna touch it the same day? Okay. How much? Yes. Did you pay the last time? Well, that's Uno. It's only Uno. No, it's one. It's only one to pay. Do that one. But did you pay last time? Last time, what did I play? That one? The same one. <laughs> no. Maybe not? Okay. I don't know. Well, the people in the chat will let us know if you if you fail <laughs> to pay. You keep forgetting to pay. You keep forgetting to pay. That's called theft. That's that's against the law. <laughs> we'll have to put you in jail. <laughs> and now I, I get two? Yeah, you, you're not you're not you're not in the same you don't have Jasmine on your board here. Can we put Jasmine on your board? No, and you can take less? Alright. Uh, okay, so I need to beat up Jasmine, but now I don't have enough. I don't have enough to do it. 
the move hero and no, move hero is covered up. And the move allies covered up. Only have three. Jasmine's got five now. Oh. All right. Well. Go here. Can attack. I can play a card. Fate against you. I have Clever Disguise, uh, which basically um, hero cannot be defeated any time Prince Shaman pay two power to discard it. Basically, it prevents her from being able to discard or, or defeat a hero until she gets rid of this. Um, and then Steal from Rich, take up to four energy or four power. So we're going to go ahead and do Steal from the Rich. Effect takes four power and puts it on her. She's a She's gonna be hard to beat. And then and play a card. I guess I'll we'll just go ahead and play the card. I'm gonna play my snake staff. I can hypnotize, and it says pay one power to hypnotize. Put a hypnotize card that's in my discard pile into my hand. But I'm discard it. Draw one, because that's all I can draw. So this one is the one I cannot, I have to play first on the Yes, you have to okay. activate him and then after he's activated then you... How are you actually that? Oh. By playing him. Yeah, um, so you, have to, you have to move to where you want to go first and play him as a hard play. The Sheriff of Nottingham has a nice ability where basically if he moves to a location, there you go, if he moves to a location where there's a hero, then Prince John gains one power. Oh, if you haven't moved to your location yet to start playing cards. Prince John doing all these dirty deeds! He's so underhanded. <laughs> I play my card. Now he can play your card. And if I, pay, I pay three. And you pay the three that you just got. Mm. This card and play Um Jasmine three. And unfortunately if Jasmine hadn't have been powered up, I would have been able to defeat Jasmine. But I cannot. Um However I can now I can't even afford to hypnotize her. Uh, yeah, to ignore the ability calls to play hypnotize equal to hero's strength. So her total strength is five. So, Siakabo, no loss. I have no card that I can play. No, I, I have to find the, the scroll. No, I've got the lamp. I have to find the scroll so I can unlock this so I can play the lamp, which then gives me Genie, and I can start moving them. Okay, so now before the Prince John... You move, Jones, yeah, share it. Move it. There, so you get your one, one power. One. And now I move. And now you move. If I move here, another one? Yes. And... Yeah. You have two effects. Jafar loses two power, um, or discard an ally with a strength of three or less from my realm. So you can discard my ally, or make me lose power. Discard another. Okay, so three or less. So you can you can't get rid of him because he's at four now, but he's oh. at three. So now. Vanquish. Now you can vanquish. So this is three and this three. is three. Yes. So now you will lose your sheriff. And I will lose And you lose your bow, but these guys will stay. Get your uh -huh. It was not that power. difficult. It was not that difficult. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to get your sheriff so easy. All right. So what do you, what do you have? Three, six, three, six, nine. Six. Anyway, yeah, you're at 11. Item. Okay. But you start ramping up very quickly because eventually you get to a point where you're not spending anymore. Just keep getting it. And I can play one card.
Yeah, you get your energy attack. Yep. That's so bad that this is my spot. I can't even move my characters to attack. Since you only saw this location of card Okay, so yeah, anything you pay there. Oh, I don't yeah. think I don't think either one of us had ever gotten out. That's new. Oh, you pay it. <laughs> Dang, Prince John! I had to steal from the from everybody, not steal from the rich or the poor. Just all right, jackal ball. Jackal. All right, two. Jackal four. Um, I hate to get rid of the rival, but I, I need this spot back. Um, I will do your fate. We have King Richard and Clever Disguise. So Clever Disguise comes in no good because she doesn't have anybody. So uh, Prince John cannot play effects. So this basically stops her from doing any effects anymore. So any effect card longer play. And I'm going to attack. So I didn't want to get rid of Abu, but um, actually, hang on. I'm going to actually. I can play one card, right? Yeah. I'm going to play the Hypnotize. Pay the two cost. So now Abu is on my team. Welcome to the bad guys, Abu. I knew you could be easily corrupted. Did that. So then I can use my Activate. My power to my attack. What's total? Oh, I could attack, but I saved my attack because I used my hypnotize. Although I probably could have not grabbed the hypnotize, so I could have grabbed the card. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that back. I'm going to keep this in my discard pile. I'm going to take my energy back. That didn't help me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it does. It gives me somebody to beat up on Jasmine with. Well, I can't. The problem is I can't move them until I have to get this one card that lets me move people again. I think I have another one in here, but I guess that, that makes sense why he's got that in his deck is because um, because this is locked, so I can't move my allies. So he has a card that lets him move allies. Move there. Oh, and I pay. No. Oh, because you're on that spot. Yep. I don't know if there's. A, I don't know if you have any cards that get rid of your items either. I was trying to remember if the, I know there's the the one guy gets rid of him. I don't know if there's anything that gets rid of items. No, no, don't say that. Card. <laughs> well, no, you just can't play them. Uh, I, I, you wouldn't I, want to discard them if you, if you no, could not. maybe use them later. But I have three and I am. Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah, because then you get a fresh hand. That makes more sense. Oh, that's the move. Yeah, that one really. Actually, that makes sense now. Well, go ahead and grab your cards. Now I see you could put the warrant. I never think about putting the warrant on the jail, because why would somebody put the character on the jail, right? But if you had the warrant on the jail, you could use that card to move them to the jail. And then you'd get the two, because you played them to that spot. That's one of those combos I was talking about at the beginning. you got to figure out the decks and figure out how those combos can work. And we played Prince John twice now, right? I played him once, you played him once. And that was the third time, and that's the first time I saw that combo. Yeah. No. Okay. So the circle ball. Me. Uh, we'll go. I'm gonna go here. Just because I I want to discard a card. For now, I'm gonna discard the snake. I am. I'm gonna pay two energy to get Gazim out. Because when Gazim is discarded from your realm, you may choose an item from your discard pile, put it back into your hand. Get one energy for the spots. 
and then your fate deck. Oh, little John. Clever Disguise. So, no. Skippy with archers cannot be used. Clever Disguise, you cannot defeat him without getting rid of this disguise. That, that actually works pretty good because that keeps you from using effects unless you pay two energy to get rid of it and then still have to knock him out. <clears throat> Let's play that card. <gasps> At any time, Prince John may pay two. I cannot beat him. Not until you get rid of the disguise. So you have to pay two energy to get rid of that, or two power to get rid of it. Then you can beat him. And right now, you don't even have enough people to beat him, so there's you don't have to worry about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that's playing with a three-card hand because of Jasmine. <laughs> I've been playing with a three-card hand for several turns now. See? Okay. I'm here. <laughs> okay. You're going to do it. This. And it can move. Oh no, that's moving my that's hero. That's moving, moving ally. Yeah. Ally? Move, yeah. Well, he can already attack this spot. That's what I was gonna do. Oh He's, yeah, the hero. What you, is no, you need to be. Hero? You need to go back here. Let's move an ally. Oh, the hero has. Is that not, is that not where you wanted to go? Then? I wanted to. I wanted to. You don't need to though, because he can attack the square next to him. Oh, see, see, see. So you went to the wrong square. You meant to go here. You can attack. I, I was thinking about yeah, yeah, no, you wanted to go there. Okay, so you did that. You paid that. Uh, you get one energy because that spot has an energy and the other one didn't. You did that. You did that. You got to do my fate. And then you can attack. So you have Carpet. Uh, carpet, Jafar must defeat Carpet before any other heroes. I, I think you're going to want to play that, huh? Because you know I'm Jafar going after Jasmine. Uh, your other option is Wish. Fetch it to hero, that hero gets two strings. You can either make Jasmine stronger or make her have to defeat Carpet first before I defeat you. Carpet your... is. This is Carpet. Oh, and this is oh, much? The... Sorry about that, guys. We hit the camera. Yeah, so you can either play. Oh, the you hit the wire, which then hit that, yeah. Uh... So you can either have Carpet, which means I've got to beat up two people. I've got to beat up Carpet and Jasmine, or you can just make Jasmine stronger. Yeah. Okay. And then attack. Attack it. Well, you might want to pay your two energy to get rid of that first. That. Attack. So your guys go. Yep. Total. Thank you, allies. <laughs> all right. So that was all. All your moves. All of your actions. And then. I don't. All right, so I get three. Good, because I need three to be able to play pendant. Pendant unlocks my Cave of Wonders. Uh, at the end of your turn, draw until you have five cards in your hand. And this is where she comes in. So basically, this now lets me get back up to five, but she reduces it by one, so four. But at least now I can start drawing cards again. That was starting to get old really, really quick. <laughs> All right. One, you. Okay. Press mass. Gain three energy, you lose three energy. <laughs> See. I mean, at least you can, you can play effects and stuff now. Get rid of gain. Help me. Well, you can discard. I have no clue what you have, so I can't tell you. Hmm. 
But no. If you don't want to play a card, you don't have to play a card. But you got to at <laughs> least probably discard one so you can at least draw. I was going card. to put an effect here. Effects don't go here. Effects go here. Effects are active when you play them. Yeah. Conditions are active when your opponent's turn. So if you play an effect, it takes effect right now. Okay, so if I don't have what I need, I then yeah, the effect does nothing. So you either effect. discard one so you can draw a card, mm -hmm. or hope you can do something next turn. Discard. That one. You may move. Oh, that's just move an ally. Oh, that was the move and then vanquish. Didn't have to be in your. All right. Go to the Cave of Wonders. Dulce. Dulce pocket. And I can move ally. You can move an item or an ally. She's got five. I have two. Who would only be another two? Actually, Razul and and like that two energy. This card and this card. That. I could have played that earlier. I didn't even think about that. I could put that there and she would add two less energy and that one goes away. <laughs> oh man. You gotta read the cards. See, Optimus does a good job of reading the cards. I, I do a bad job of it. I can play, but I'm one energy short of what I need. I will play this to Abu. See, could have done that. Could have moved Abu over with the one and he would have been strong enough. Am I allowed to take backs? <laughs> no take backs. Oh, no take backs. My bad play, no take backs. <laughs> <laughs> don't, make, don't make it easy for me. That's us being. Okay. Uh, draw to five. Jasmine's out, so draw to four. Even the thing is, I set all that up, and I'm still not going to defeat him on the next turn because it's not what I want to do. Two, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. I have to do a eight, but that's going to ruin what I'm trying to do. You can try the combo. What's combo? The combo where you yeah. use the other card to move the hero into jail so then you get the power. You gotta learn the combos and then I'm gonna use it. <laughs> but. Move, no. yeah, I mean, if you wanted to move the wolf archers so that way they're not on the end, like you moved them to Nottingham because then they can attack the jail here and here. Play a card, move a card. Oh, you can I play should, two I cards. I play another card, but Nothing. I can't play it. Okay. Okay. Don't have to take all the action. You would like to be able to take all the action. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go a key, three energy, and I'm going to play the magic lamp. A magic lamp. It says when I when I play the magic lamp, but I must go to the cave of wonders. Um, when the magic lamp played, find G. G. And Genie gets plus two strength if the magic lamp is located in his spot. Yeah, that's not good. Played a card, took my three energy. That is it. Jasmine is still out annoying me.
Okay. <laughs> You're looking at me like, uh, am I allowed to do this? Yes, that's you can you can. Wait, what are you at? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Last row. Yep. Oh, I thought he only needs four more energy. Can you get four energy in this one move? Probably not. Well, you have to have 20. You're one of the ones that has to have 20 at your turn, right? At the beginning. Yeah. So you have to have 20 at the beginning. So yeah, if you beat, so I wouldn't want to put somebody there because, although wait a minute, that means I can't put a person here, I can't put a person here, and I can't put a person here, so I'd have to put a person here, which gains you two power anyways. <laughs> um, all right. Well. And what? Or just. Well, if you want to. I mean, you're going to get to draw one card. See, no. yeah. All right. Um, all right. This is two birds of one stone. So, play that. Need to defeat carpet. So, I'm going to move to defeat. Carpet. I forgot, I couldn't even defeat Jasmine anyways because Carpet was in there. And Fate. So we have Little John and we have Steel from the Rich. Little John and Steel from the Rich do the same thing. They both basically take four power. Uh, but since she doesn't have any heroes out, I have to play Little John. Um, he's kind of beefy, so it's going to be a minute before she can actually beat him. So I don't want her to gain... Power since I'm too powerful. Single bit I was cheating. Stop cheating, Will. Okay. Um, so that's fate. Attack. I'm going to activate my snake staff. So I can Gnosis. And then I can play a call. Play. Who's scrying? Going to look for an. Uh, I've got lesser effects. All right. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, shuffle and keep doing that until I get an item. Yes. Because as you keep going until you get an item, so. I might not have any more items. Wow, that was a joke. Um, yeah, that was my one card, and now I have more cards than I know. Okay, your turn. Can't even draw because I'm over the card limit. So. Yeah, you gotta move. What? No. Eight. Sultan, palace guards cannot be used to defeat Sultan. Um, choose a hero from Jafar's discard. Choose, a, choose and play a hero from Jafar's fate discard pile. So you can, if you want, you can bring back carpet, you can bring back a boo. Basically, these are your choices of what you If you play the effect card. Carpet's the one where I have to defeat Carpet before I can actually do anything. Uh, Abu just steals the lamp. Palace guards. Um, palace guards. Is, are, it, I don't have one out, but they're they're another guy. They're they're like two strength. Palace another. guards. Carpet. Carpet. 
that spot again. Okay. Gracias. <laughs> and I'm here. And do that. All right. Um, so play a card. You got your one energy, right? So if I move my hero, hmm? if I move my hero here, again, if you move the again. hero there, you gain. Yeah, you gain. Okay. No, I mean, you, gain two power. Um, each time okay. a hero is played to this location, so you are moving them. You had to play two to get two. <laughs> that actually doesn't really work so... out. I mean, he I mean, doing that does uncover this, though. It does uncover your two. That's no, that's a good play. I mean, it you're paying two to earn two, so it's basically a free card. But then it's opening up your two. Up here. Well, you don't have to put it there. You just, oh, see, so no, like... But basically, it's just a so... draw. You didn't pay anything. You didn't. Discard if you want. Keep having viewers show up, and, and it keeps showing that we have viewers, and then they leave. No one, no one's talking to us tonight. But we hope if you guys are watching this as it's recorded on YouTube that uh, maybe you'll want to start coming out and joining us on Saturday nights when we do these live gameplays. Uh, we have much more fun where we can talk to you guys. Uh, I mean, we have fun playing the game. I mean, we play it on we, at Wednesdays. We practice whatever we're going to play on Saturdays. So we get to play games on Wednesdays. And then we uh, play it then Saturdays. Some games are going to be a little bit longer. Uh, and you'll have to do like a part A and a part B of the quests and stuff. But we think on those ones, we'll probably do part A on Wednesdays and part B on Saturdays. And um, that's usually because they're story-based, like uh, Ether Fields, which comes out close to the end of the year. Um, I know a lot of people are talking about um, Oath Sworn right now because it's similar to Primal. That's another one where it's kind of a two-part game. So if when we start getting those types of games, then of course we can't practice them because we'll ruin the story. I'm odd that he's going to sneeze. It's a, it's a, Jesse's little sneeze. It's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> salud. Okay. It's lindo. Linda. Linda is chica. All right. Okay. So you did everything, I right? Did. All right. Mm -hmm. um, hey. I have no energy. I don't want to play any. <laughs> Need energy for power. That's all. Oh, yeah. I'm going to play that one because that'll get rid of carpet. And I can draw to five, but I currently have four, and Jasmine is still in the game. Still need to hypnotize Genie. Still need to move the magic lamp. Did I just, did I did I did I discard Iago? I need Iago. So, yeah, it's, that's what I said I can do it. Oh, wow. If you can defeat, well, you still need one more. Actually, no, if you, could defeat, um, if you can defeat him with your archers and somebody else. I'm going to play two cards. Okay. Gain one power, power for each okay. hero. You just need to defeat him and you win. And last another turn after I fate you. Because <laughs> you know I gotta fate you afterwards. So in a normal game, there's actually, I don't have the token, there's normally a white token that prevents you from being able to fate. But in a two-player game, you don't use that. Because otherwise, the game would go nowhere. 
because nobody could date anybody. And is that cool? Did you want to? I guess there's no. You can move an item, but. Oh, well, did you, you didn't play a card, did you? I do. Oh, but there were zero calls. Okay. I, something you could do would be move his crown to him, then play if you needed to play, like, a pack card or something like yeah, that. You know, because it would be it would cost less. But that's neither here nor there. Because, I mean, you are going to have to pay energy to be able to attack him anyway, so you're going to lose some whatever you get to. All right, we're going to go here. We're going to fate Adri. Adri's fate. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm on the power to lose your so, for me. It's reduced by one. So Robin Hood reduces her power intake by one. Um, the other one is Friar Tuck. Friar Tuck, basically, I can discard a warrant. And put him here, and it would just get rid of that one. Uh, the other way Robin Hood comes out is... Maid Marion, Maid Marion, when she defeat her, Robin Hood comes out automatically. So I'm going to activate my Hourglass, which is a freebie. So carpet got destroyed. I'm going to attack with, I need five, three, four, and everything I've got. Husband. And then I can play a card if I want to. Just so that way I get this out of my hand. So I can draw back to five. I played hourglass. I know it makes it more difficult. That's the point of the heroes. <laughs> You going to jail? Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Oh, that's a different game. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's me not there. You get two energy instead of three. Oh, you would have you would have won. You would have won if, if if Robin Hood wouldn't have come out. But here's the thing: you now have me on the ropes where I have to do a. Um, how are you putting one now? Oh, because you. Oh no, you only have four. You wouldn't be able to eat one of them. Yeah, but you want to take little John gives you four energy. Gives you your four energy back. But I have I feel like I have Well no, but you probably make more sense to put him on the jail. That's you. Losing one energy from Robin Hood isn't as important as getting your four energy back. Power. Power. We keep saying energy. Because Power. I cannot attack him if I am here. No, but huh? Okay. If if. But your archer's here. Now you have four. See? But I didn't understand. Putting him there didn't made no sense because he couldn't attack Little John. You could even put him here on top of that one. That way you could choose which one you want to attack. Honestly, you could put them both on top of this one. Have them in the same spot because I can tag both spots. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Discard. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to have to re listen to this. I don't think it's picked you up all night. I don't think it has. I, I don't know how to put that any closer to you. But is going to you. It is going to you. <laughs> I'm going to play this condition. No, so, I mean to play right. not to. Wait, you can't play the condition. Discard, oh, discard. discard. Okay, that's it. It's, it's not gonna... much. And. I'm doing. Five because I. Oh, another three... six or more power. Yeah, and I've been. I've been. Power poor for a while, which is why I can't hypnotize. Me. So I go back to four. See, 
Yeah, back to four. All right. I, I have no option. You, you, you've got me on the ropes now where I'm having to play your eight card. You are out of fake cards or you're shuffling. So, there we go. I don't need All right, so I'm going to steal from the rich. Red. And you win if you can beat both those guys up, but that's going to take you a couple. I can discard a card. I'm going to discard these crying. Um, good fate, got my one energy, discard, play a card. I don't think it's very hard. Okay. Your turn. Settle. Okay. See, because of Robin Hood. Reduced by one. All right, we'll have to do is we'll probably have to look at getting lapel mic. Lapel mic. Oh. I am sorry. It's not your fault. I mean, it's the Same. microphone. The microphone, no, the microphone's designed not to pick up like extra sounds around us. Oh, yeah, I should not be an extra sound right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the I think this. The microphone one. thinks you're an extra sound. You're not, you're not hitting the, the decibel range. And I can be. All our allies at the top. No, because you lose one because of him. I don't know. Play, play it to him. There you go. All other allies. And that location gets minus one. So. There are no allies. Well, that's fine. So you can use him and him to beat up him. Let's see. Six. Six. One that. Is plus you get one instead of two for defeating him. That's what. Oh, yeah, three, four. Fifteen. All right, so two, two away. Not fifteen. Five, ten, fifteen, six, seven, eighteen, eighteen. Ochenta. Yes, Yocho. We did. Eight. Eight. Um, Aladdin. Aladdin is played. Uh, you may choose an item at his location attached to him. Jafar cannot use this item. Aladdin is defeated. The enemy's return. Patient. Raja. Uh, Raja gets plus two strength if Princess Jasmine is there and she's currently not. Um, Aladdin's going to be your better bet because that. Well, you can either steal the magic lamp, which I need to get to here, or you can steal the pendant, which is what's letting me draw five cards. And you can steal so, one of these things too, but I don't. Um, Is I can't even defeat him until I defeat him. I have to hypnotize Genie first before I can even go out. All right. Almost. Because you played a card? You played Trigger. Oh, uh, you were. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And... So now you have to draw. You did all your stuff. All right. Um, 
<laughs> Suck. Um, um, yeah. Got to do fate again. I mean, you basically are just making me do fate every turn. There's nothing else I can do because I I need six energy just to hypnotize, and I can't get energy because I'm trying to do fate to you. Every oh man, I missed this last turn. You had three allies out, and I had a condition card. Aww. Can't attack because I don't have any way to attack. Uh, activating all my abilities does nothing that helps me. Um, so energy. Eight. If evil archers cannot be used or cover the sky. This I that fate didn't help. Either one of them would have been. It, it's the clever disguise. You can't beat up. Which isn't that big of a deal. You pay two energy. Um yeah, that's all I can do. You So now what is covering this is the item, not the hero. Hmm? But it's covering this is my uh, is the item of the hero. It's the hero. You can't beat up the hero until you get rid of the disguise like you did last yeah, time. Yeah, but I, I okay, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to use this one. If Prince Johnny sets her his location, you may perform one action that is covered yes. by a then, hero. Yeah, then you can you can perform that action. Or you could just go and get the three energy and win the game. I mean, no, he's he's just going to prevent you from getting I'll three energy. Have 18. Correct. I get you to twenty. You just have to. If I'm going to have to do another fate, and if your fate card doesn't have me steal energy, you win. Still don't have enough allergy. And I finally got the necessary sacrifice here at the end. That one where you kept you discard to get three energy. I cannot move heroes. It's moving so Yes. The only time you move heroes with that one card that lets you. And you can play that, just put it like on Nottingham. Because remember, I don't want to put him here because you'll get two. If I get a hero, I don't want to put him here, you're going to get two energy, which will win. I don't want to put him under warrant because you get two energy because, well, one, one, one. There's a problem with that. Okay. You want to use that. Okay, what, don't, you don't, that's just an effect. But then it's free because you're, you're, well, no, it's going to cost you one. Oh, uh, because. Yeah, so it's going to cost you one. But... Which means now you're not, now you're not winning it. You were at 20. You wanted to spend zero energy at. Because I can now. It's going to it's gonna take you another turn now. No, because gain two power each time. I... Minus one for Robin Hood. You already gave me. You had to pay two to play him. Yep. You basically, you paid two to play him and you got one energy back. So it only cost you one energy. The only thing you got now is.
if you want to discard. You don't have to discard. Keep your hand. You get to draw. It means the only time you really want to discard is when you have four cards in your hand. You can't use any of them, and you can't draw a new card. And you're stuck with the four cards in your hand. All right. Well, I have to fade again because it's all I can do. Very evil. Uh, necessary sacrifice. Eight. Do it one. Because I neither of these guys is going to take energy. That's why I said the chance of me pulling something that would take power from you um, was very low. And that's why you wanted to stay at the twenty. If anything, you wanted to find a way to gain power. But I could not just say I don't want. Oh, well, actually, hang on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your crown is there. So reduce the cost of playing him by one. That's... What? I mean, I know, but okay. th that's what I asked. Right. What I asked, and you All said. Right. I I missed your crown. I didn't know your crown was there. So when you played him earlier, it would have cost you two, but because of these, that it, it would have cost you one. one to do it. And then moving Robin Hood here would get you two, but because of Robin Hood, you only get one back to what you want. So you're, you're at the 20. I, I forgot you had that crown. Are you sure? Because we read these. I, I, forgo I forgot you had that crown, and that's why you should get that one, that it makes it one energy less to play your cards when you're at that location. I forgot. I, I forgot. You're, you're right. You're, you're, you're a 20. So, and he, he didn't take anything from you, and there's nothing else I can do. That's the end of my I turn. Win. So you win. Abdi wins that game due to my bad math skills. No, and... it's also my bad, my bad math skills, because I thought we had done this. No, I was doing the warrant. And Robin Hood minus one. When I was saying minus one, it was Robin Hood's minus one, um... not the crown's minus one. That is the first game, guys. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we apologize for not having the music at the beginning. We apologize if there's been any in and out of the microphone. Hopefully we can get that figured out uh, soon. Uh, we will be playing an additional game right after this for those of you watching live. Uh, which I'm not sure if there's anybody watching live, but hi, if you are. <laughs> uh, but guys, we definitely appreciate you coming out and watching our videos. Uh, make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. Hit a comment down below with what other games you would like to see us play. Until next time. Adios. Peace.